Um, so in this little tutorial series, I'm going to go through EarthX Maxim. It's a C++ uh, DSP slash audio synthesis um, library that we can use in open frameworks. And uh, we're just going to be exploring a few of its features. Uh, and today we're going to make sound using an oscillator. Uh, we're going to route all the audio um, into a buffer and that's going to go off to our sound card. Um, and yeah, without further ado, I shall begin. Uh, so, the first step we want to make is include the header file for OFX Maxim. I'm assuming that you can all you're all computer literate enough to download the add-on um, from its GitHub page. You can find it under after googling Maximilian, um, and that you can create a new Open Frameworks project with the add-on included. See mine here, and this is where all the files are, by the way. Uh, all the good stuff is in here. Uh, yeah, so I'm making. I'm doing this tutorial on a few basic presumptions, but on with the show. Um, so I've included the header file. I've enclosed that, but now it is. Uh, and the first thing you need to do is make a callback function that can uh, get the audio and route it to the um, sound card. And that's audio output. It has three arguments, a float buffer, Um, it has uh, a buffer size, which is an integer, and it has um, int. Uh, what else does it have? It has a uh, number of channels. Okay, cool. Um, next thing is it has. Um, we need to. What do we need to do? Get your head in the game. So, we need to make an oscillator. Uh, so let's, we actually use this maxi osc type def, um, and we'll just call it os, and that's going to be our oscillator. And all our oscillator really is a repeating waveform with a fundamental frequency um, and an amplitude. Let's define our frequency. Um, we're not going to bother with amplitude today. Um, so frequency, oh, that would be a double value, double freak, let's see, let's see, get it, there we go, um, we also want a value for our current sample, we're going to loop through the buffer, um, and this is what we use to represent the current value in that buffer, the current frame, that buffer, so current sample. Uh, we also want to have um, uh, our buffer size, it's the length of the buffer, and uh, the quality of the audio, which is the sample rate. Um, I think that's everything for now. Um, so in setup, there's a few things we need to do. Uh, we need to um, set the sample rate. We can use go for 44,100 kilohertz, the same as the CD. Um, we will need to set the buffer size. And I, that has to be powers of 2. 512 works for me. Um, the bigger you go, the less latency you'll have, but it may run better on your computer. Um, and let's set our background. So it's black. And we need to initialize our frequency value. Yeah. The oboe notes. The way Professor says. Um, okay, cool. And. So that's going to be at 440 hertz. Finally, we need to switch on the DAC. This takes a few arguments of sound stream setup. 
so that for the first argument it takes outputs, it takes uh, inputs, we don't want any inputs, um, it takes something, it's always this, can't remember what that is, um, it takes sample rate and buffer size and number of channels. We should usually have two no, it's number of buffers, I think, for channels. You should always have two buffers for the, your channels, I think. I think that's it. Okay, cool. Um, we don't need to use anything like this. All of our sound stuff will be done in a separate thread. It's our audio out method. And that is a warning as well. It's in a separate thread, so be careful with how you use the variables inside it. It can be a bit funky at times. So void of app audio out Now we're going to loop through the buffer. So we get our current sample with the view to eventually put it in the buffer. Gets our current sample and assign an oscillator value to it and we use that by getting our oscillator object and making a sine wave from it. There's lots of different actually this is a square, I like squares. Um, there are lots of different types of oscillators. Um, and all the methods in OFX Maxim generally they, they all return doubles and nearly all of them only take a double one double as an argument which is frequency. Um, however, there are a few exceptions to that rule. Um, and then, so we can then apply in our float of um, buffer, in our array of floats, which is called outputs, we can assign the current sample to the respective, the correct place um, by doing it something along these lines. Channels. You can do it. Um, it's plus zero, so that's, that's our left side. Um, and cause current. Stop. And then our right channel. I times ten channels uh, plus one it is exactly the same. We'll look at mixing techniques in a later later example. And finally, all I want to do is uh, map the mouse um, to frequency. Let's cast that as a double, because I'm not sure if our map returns a double. So I take that x value from 0 to width, and that's of get width. Not do it from zero, could do it from zero, but 50 is probably a better number. I don't really hear much less under 50. And let's go up to an arbitrary 800 hertz as the frequency. Uh, and that to me looks like everything we'll need to make, albeit it's probably a fairly nasty sound. Expected. Am I being silly? Yeah, of course I'm being silly. Incredibly dumb. Um, okay. Um, okay. So it's Mulgrew. Uh, 
doesn't match. Audio out, and I put audio output there. City. You ready for some noise? Some fairly horrible noise. And there we go. A pretty cool project. Um, okay, cool. Have fun. Go makers. Um, and be ready for the next one, which I think is mixing. All right, take it easy, guys.